hey there so i just wanted to share with you my little trip to tk maxx where i bought some lovely gems from tk maxx so the first thing that i got well i got two i got two of each i've only got the four products and i got two of each thing and i got these two they are the tarantina tarina tarina tarantino dull skin cream blush and pressed spucklicity duo i got them in the shade cameo coral coral cameo and mr pink and these are lovely absolutely lovely so here we have the coral cameo so this is obviously the cream blush and this is just sparkles it is just pressed glitter and Nikki tutorials eat your heart out because this is lovely so I've got the cream blush on at the moment this shade um, and it went on beautifully I don't like just putting your finger in or something and putting it on and then blending it out I don't find that that works for me so I usually get like my beauty sponge I dab that in there and then I pat it on and then blend it out that way I think that that gives me a much nicer um, I don't want to say natural but it doesn't leave any hard lines behind and it means you don't have to blend as much and I just find that that's what works for me um, so I've already done some swatches so let's just go over those so this is the coral cameo as you can see it's a lovely color it blends out so well this here it like I say it is just it is just sparkles sparkles it's just glitter so this is a beigey toned glitter so all of the little flecks in here are very white silvery and then it's got a beigey kind of powder just to keep it all intact but the beige doesn't really show up um so it blends out to basically just sparkles it's just sparkles and then we have mr pink which is neon neon pink hot pink and this is lovely as well i wore this yesterday and exactly the same setup a little bit of a sponge pop it on and i'm just going to go over the swatch that i did earlier and that is just beautiful beautiful the sparkles in here they're in my opinion the exact same sparkles but the base color is a whitey uh, nudie color um so it just instead of having a beige undertone it just it it just looks like sparkles sparkly 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 glittery 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 um i do love these i feel that um oh, Nikki tutorials we all know how she loves her sparkles and if you haven't heard of these Nikki check them out because they're brilliant all right on to the next thing that I got from TK Maxx I got the Ilia mask Ilia mask and again I got two of these and again I'm just so surprised, so surprised. So these retail at about 34 quid. And in TK Maxx, they were 9.99. They were 10 pounds. And they are gorgeous, gorgeous. So I got them in the colors Reflection and Fatal, Fatal, Fatal. Because it's like femme fatale, isn't it? Fatale, we'll go with fatale. So, reflection are just these metallic colours here. And I've always heard people describe eyeshadows as creamy or buttery. And it's never really made sense to me because, like, eyeshadows are just pressed powder. Oh, wow. These ones, it just, it feels like that if you put your finger in there, it's just going to melt. They are gorgeous, they glide on, they are beautiful. Um, here are my little swatches of them. 
because I did them earlier like an idiot. So here, like the one that you can barely see is this creamy colour here with just a bit of um, metallic gl glittery kind of undertone. All of these have got sparkly undertones. They're all a bit shimmery, but they don't come up shimmery. They come up metallic. Um, so this one is the bronzy colour. This is a very cool toned bronze and then the grey colour and they are gorgeous. I played around with them yesterday. They all have names. Precipice, Acute, Graphica and Dart. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Then the other one that I got, which is the Fatal one. Look, just look, just look. Okay, um, I would... My bank balance ain't great, ain't great. So this at £35 is well outside my price range for four eyeshadows. But I'm beginning to think that it's worth the money. It's worth it. Again, I, I'm wearing these today. I have the the lilac -y purple that is my transition colour. The... Burnt Coral? We'll go with Burnt Coral is the one in my crease and then the goldy colour is on my lid. I didn't use this really dark um, cool toned brown colour but they are they are beautiful and again I idiotically did the swatches earlier and these are them. So here we go <laughs> and, ugh. and these are just one swipe. This is just one swipe. Um, I know that that doesn't really mean much because you don't put them on with your fingers, you put them on with a brush. But they go on, they go on this dark with just one swipe of the brush. The only one out of both of these palettes, um, I can't open it now, out of both of these palettes, the only one that isn't up to par, it is still amazing, like it is still above standard. But it's not up to par with the other seven. Is this lilac-y one. It's lovely. But it goes on slightly. Like not as opaque. It's not as pigmented. Um, it builds up beautifully. It's a beautiful colour. So th th it's not even a complaint. I'm not even going to complain about it. They're all beautiful. It's just that this, this purple one is just slightly slightly less than the other seven um these ones aren't as creamy as the metallic ones they do feel um a lot more powdery which is what you would expect of a powder whereas these ones just they feel like cream eyeshadows they're not but they feel like cream eyeshadows um and they are just gorgeous so i just i just wanted to share with you the, the, the so excited so excited i'm gonna play around with them so much i've got more things to buy i'm going to lose all of my money um <laughs> i i've only been in the makeup game for about a year and a half before that uh either i wouldn't wear any makeup at all and if i went out i would just wear like one base color and it would be a bold color it would be like purple or green and it would be all over my lid, all in my crease and then all under and then a lot of a lot of eyeliner. And that would be it, literally. I wouldn't wear anything else. No foundation, no eyebrows, no mascara, nothing. All I had was eyeshadows and eyeliner. And now I, I have everything. <laughs> I just, yes, lovely. Um, so, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I plan to do with my channel because at the moment all I'm doing are unboxings and they always happen at the beginning of the month and so I want to um, not change things because I'm still going to be doing the unboxings but I want to do more. I've got some things in mind but I don't really know how I'm going to go about them. Uh, I haven't figured those out yet. This whole YouTube thing is obviously very new to me. Social media is not really my thing. Um, so 
I've got to get my sister to teach me about Snapchat and Instagram and those kind of things. Um, but other than that, like, hopefully I'll be able to do some reviews and maybe some tutorials. Um, let me know if you want to see, like, how I do my makeup. Like, maybe you think my makeup's rubbish. You don't want any part of it. But, like, those are the kind of things that I'm playing around with. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to be just a review person, see? Because, A, I can't afford to buy all of the stuff that you guys want me to review. Well, I'm saying you want me to review. I can't afford them. Um, so... I'm hoping to buy like a palette and then play around with all of the different kind of looks that maybe you can get out of that palette and maybe do that for a little bit see how well that goes um, and then of course I want to do some of the challenges that go around like I want to do some of the full face challenges maybe the kids makeup challenge things like that who knows who knows? But those are the kind of ideas that are floating around. Any suggestions from you, that would be helpful because I'm new to all of this. I've got no idea. Like all of the stuff that I look, like I follow Tati and um, she's really cool, but she, she does stuff that's well outside of my price range. And I feel that like my opinion is not as important, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, no. Give me your thoughts, because maybe you'll you'll be better at all of this than me. And uh, I will try and I'll try and be better. I'll try and be better at this. So this is my first little review. I have waffled on far too long about stuff that isn't this, but I was just so excited. Um, yeah, just ignore the last five minutes. I'll put in a little thing down below that tells you where you should stop at the video. I just wanted to let you know a little bit about maybe what I was doing and that actually turned into not much. <laughs> um, so yeah, your thoughts and suggestions would be greatly helpful. Um, hints and tips and things like that. But yeah, anyway. So anyway, on that note, have a good day and uh, thank you for watching. Um, ta now.